This is Colin O'Keefe here for LXBN TV, and a story that's being watched not only for the local impact, but the potential national implications as well. Citizens in the city of Denton, Texas, voted on Election Day to ban hydraulic fracturing in the city and around the surrounding areas. This vote, though, is far from the end of the line for this story. Joining me now to explain the background and potentially what's next going forward is Attorney Charles Sarton. He's with Gray, Reed, and McGraw, an author on the firm's blog, uh, Energy and the Law, really one of the best in the space. Uh, Charles, first off, for those who aren't familiar with this storyline, though it's gotten a bit of exposure, can you explain the backstory with Denton and, and how this voter-approved fracking ban came to be? Sure. Well, there's been uh, fracking in urban areas throughout the Barnett Shale for a number of years, but it appears to me that the way the Denton election and, and the, the effort to ban fracking came about is lacks local regulation. You had some old a regulatory structure where someone could get a permit, an operator could get a permit and drill a well within 200 feet of somebody's home. And um, they've since updated the regulations, but those old permits survived and that made a lot of people mad when they had oil and gas operations in their neighborhoods 200 feet from their home. That's where it started. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Of course, that 200 feet is, is very, very close. And of course, voters, you know, ended up backing this measure to uh, ban the, the, the practice in the urban area. But then, of course, as I alluded to, this is far from the end of the line. So, you know, I'll let you take it away from there. But where does this go from here? And what is the, the most likely outcome with what now involves pending litigation? Well, uh, where it goes is the courthouse, as you said. And this regulation uh, is going to be attacked from several different uh, areas uh, by several different sources. The Railroad Commission of Texas has sued, um, asserting that a local regulation that is contrary to statewide regulations uh, is unconstitutional. So you'll have that issue. From a completely different perspective, you'll have um, operators who own properties in the area who won't be able to develop those properties. Uh, so it's a kind of a reverse condemnation. Now, the, um, the, the, the supporters of the ban will tell, will tell you that it doesn't ban oil and gas drilling, it only bans hydraulic fracturing, but in the Barnett Shale in Denton, Texas, one means the other. So um, where it goes from now is really hard to tell. Uh, one suit's been filed in Austin by the Railroad Commission, the other suit's been filed in, in Denton, uh, in Denton County, one would expect mineral owners, royalty owners, to file their own set of suits, and it, it would be long and complicated. And at this point, it's really pretty tough to tell how it will come out, it, it, but it will take a long time. And it will set a precedent for future, for future operations in Texas. Mm -hmm. Certainly. It's going to be fascinating to watch because, you know, as you mentioned, you allude to with those royalty owners, it isn't just, you know, these companies trying in and coming in and trying to make money off this. There are the royalty owners who have been told, hey, you know, you're set up for life because it just so happens that you own the mineral rights to this. So there are people saying, hey, I thought I was set and now there's this thing that bans it. So uh, there's a lot of people left in limbo on this. So it's going to be very interesting to watch and see how it plays out, of course. Uh, once again, that was Charles Sarton of Gray, Reed, and McGraw for more on this subject, not just on what's going on in Denton, but also on high hydraulic fracturing issues around the country. Be sure to check out his publication, really one of the best in the area. It's at energyinthelaw.com. Thank you for joining me today, Charles. Thank you, Colin.